Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. A very warm welcome to the Air We Breathe Forth. And um, today's event is co-organized by us, Survey Exchange. My name is Yibian Yan, and also Division of Environment, the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. And today's event is actually a side event of a four-day international conference on regional air quality management and taking the advantage of the presence of some top air scientists, public health experts, we are putting together this event outside the UST campus to try to reach a wider audience. And in the past three days at the University of Science and Technology, we had top scientists, public health experts and policy makers making over 16 keynote presentations over 22 technical sessions and over 120 oral presentations. A lot. We achieved a lot and we discussed a lot. For those who missed those sessions, don't worry. We've got the advantage of some of the experts and scientists here today with us this morning, spending two hours with us. And then we have on the far, <coughs> my left, Professor Zhu Tong from Peking University. And then we have Mr. Robert O'Keefe from Health Effects Institute in the United States. Dr. John Watson, that's its research institute, also from the United States. And then locally, we have Professor Alexis Lau from the University of Science and Technology. In session one, each of our speakers here at the panel, they're going to give us a 10 minute presentation of the latest air science and the policies, policies, implications, or challenges. And then later, we have a senior government official, Ms. Christine Lau, I'm Secretary for the Environment, joining us in the panel discussion. So perhaps with a further delay, I'm going to invite Professor Zhu Tong to give the presentation first. Professor Zhu, please. 